Friends, India is a young nation. Legacy is not built overnight. We can all play a part in creating it. Not just the government and the private sector, but each one of us has a responsibility to take our country to the sporting heights we aspire to reach. As parents, let's encourage our children to take up sports. As fans, let's make Olympism a daily reality, not just a once in four years dream. As supporters, let us follow our athletes along their journeys, not just at the games. Together, let's build a nation where every child dares to dream and every athlete has the support they need to make India a truly global sporting powerhouse. At the India House, we tried to create a space where we honored the journeys and triumphs of our athletes and their teams. We have come together to celebrate what truly makes us all human. The courage to dream, the strength to persevere, and the grace to accept all outcomes with dignity. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, please join me in welcoming on stage one of the biggest legends of Indian athletics and the president of the IOA, Mrs. P.T. Usha. And now, friends and fans, with great joy and pride, I would like to salute an athlete whose courage, consistency, and grace have inspired every Indian. From the gyms in Panipat to the stadium in Paris, his journey has been truly extraordinary. Excellence personified, an icon of Indian athletics and the pride of our nation, Neeraj Chopra. years. This young team has reclaimed that greatness with back-to-back -back Olympic medals, first in Tokyo and now in Paris. With excitement and pride, I welcome our India's hockey team for the heroic performance in Paris. You have played with your heart and made every Indian proud. Friends, to celebrate these incredible athletes, please join me in welcoming on stage the proud members of the hockey team. He needs no introduction, the Great Wall, Trijesh. Abhishek, Amit, for an athlete who has made us all proud on his Olympic debut. Born in a humble family in Haryana and orphaned at the age of 11, he has defied all odds to become India's 
youngest Olympic medalist. and call on stage more members of the Indian contingent. From the athletics team, we have Priyanka, Suraj, Jyoti. Before I end, I would like to say today is the second last day of our India house. Tomorrow, the curtains come down on these beautiful walls in Paris. India House will bid goodbye. Like the games, the show here will come to an end. But what will remain is etched in our hearts and will remain as memories for always are the cheers of love and support for each from each one of you, our audience and the fans. A big round of applause to all the friends and fans of India House. At India House, we have had the honor of welcoming nearly 40,000 people, with almost half of them being international guests. Together, we have danced on Bollywood music, relished Indian food, celebrated Indian culture, revived our traditions, shared our joys and heartbreaks, and cheered for Team India. In India, we say, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. The world is one family. India House has exemplified that spirit. And what a family we have been. I was especially moved when a France television journalist reported that if country pavilions were a category in the Olympics, India House would win a gold. And that medal, ladies and gentlemen, would belong to each one of you. And to our teams and organizers and volunteers of India House who have worked tirelessly for months to put this together for you. Let's give a big round of applause to all the volunteers. <laughs> Friends and fans, thanks, thank you once again for all the love and affection you have showered on us. Thank you from our hearts. <laughs>